Hello everyone, this is Ypod, and I'm going to be reading the Shrek 2 synopsis for you. Sorry for the wait, but I hope you all enjoy. Shrek 2 synopsis. When Shrek, voiced by Mike Myers, and Fiona, voiced by Cameron Diaz, come back from their honeymoon, they find an invitation to the Royal Ball with Fiona's parents to celebrate their marriage. An event Shrek is reluctant to participate in, Fiona talks him into it, and along with Donkey, voiced by Eddie Murphy, they travel to a kingdom of far, far away. They meet Fiona's parents, King Harold and Queen Lillian, voiced by John Cleese and Julie Andrews, who are surprised and repulsed by Fiona's choice of husband, particularly the king himself. Since they had arranged that Prince Charming rescue her from the castle, but now they see that her husband is an ogre. At a shared meal, Shrek and Harold get into a heated argument over how Shrek and Fiona will raise their family. And Fiona, disgusted at Shrek and her father's behavior, locks herself away in her room that evening. When she meets her fairy godmother, voiced by Jennifer Saunders, but is also surprised at Fiona's new looks. Shrek worries that he has lost his true love, particularly after finding her childhood diary and reading that she was once infatuated with the Prince Charming, voiced by Rupert Everts. King Harold is accosted by the fairy godmother in Charming, her son. The two retell the Prince, his adventures, and how he overcame many obstacles and climbed a high tower in order to rescue her, finding instead a cross-dressing wolf. They reprimand Harold for breaking an old promise that Charming would be able to marry Fiona and demand that he find a way to get rid of Shrek. <sighs> Harold arranges for Shrek and Donkey to join him on a fictitious hunting trip which really is a trap to lure the two into the hands of an assassin. Puss in Boots, voiced by Antonio, Antonio Banderas. When Fiona realizes that Shrek left, she asks her father for help, but he replies that he always wanted the best for her and that she should better think about what is best for her. Two. Puss is unable to defeat Shrek, and revealing that he was paid by Harold, asks to come along as a way to make amends. The three sneak into the fairy godmother's potion factory and steal the happily ever after potion that Shrek believes will restore Fiona's love for him. Shrek and Donkey both drink the potion and fall into a deep sleep, awakening the next morning to discover its effects. Shrek is now a handsome human while Donkey is turned into a stallion. In order to make changes permanent, Shrek must kiss Fiona by midnight. He, Donkey, and Puss return to the castle to discover that the potion has also transformed Fiona back into her human form. However, the fairy godmother, having learned of the potion's theft, intercepts Shrek and sends Charming to pose as him and win her love. At the fairy godmother's urging, Shrek leaves the castle, believing that, that the best way to make Fiona happy is to let her go. To ensure that Fiona falls in love with Charming, the fairy godmother gives Harold a love potion to put in Fiona's teeth. But Harold replies that it's not possible to, possible to make his daughter fall in love in this way. The exchange is overheard by Shrek, Donkey, and Puss, who are soon arrested by the Royal Guard and thrown into a dungeon. While the Royal Ball begins, several of Shrek's friends band together to free the trio and create a gigantic gingerbread man whose name is Mungo, which breaks through the castle's defenses so Shrek can stop Charming from kissing Fiona. He is too late to stop them. Instead of falling in love with Charming, though, Fiona knocks him out with a headbutt. Harold reveals that he never gave Fiona the love potion, 
Whereupon the fairy godmother attacks Shrek. In the ensuing melee, a spell from her wand, presumably to kill Shrek, rebounds off Harold's armor when he commits self-sacrifice to save Shrek, and disintegrates her. It also returns Harold to his true form, that of the Frog Prince. He had used the happily ever after potion years ago in order to marry Lillian. But she tells him that she loves him regardless of his appearance. As the clock strikes midnight, Shrek and Fiona let the potion's effects wear off and they revert to their ogre selves, while Donkey reluctantly changes back as well. Harold gives his blessings to the marriage and apologizes for his earlier behavior, and the party resumes as the credits credits begin. They are interrupted by a brief after-party scene in which the dragon who romanced Donkey in the first film arrives and reveals that they now have several dragon-donkey hybrids or dronky babies. I would like to thank everyone for listening and uh, I'll be back in like another month or two with a synopsis of Shrek the Third. Or I might just skip that and go to uh, Shrek 4. But yet again, I would like to thank everyone for listening. And have a nice day slash night whenever you're listening to this.